Johnny Carson, the man who made millions laugh, was a master of wit and charm. For over 30 years, he captivated audiences as the host of The Tonight Show, a role that cemented his legacy as one of the greatest entertainers of all time. But behind the jokes and the effortless humor, there was a private man, one whose personal life was often in turmoil. Carson was married four times, but even through the breakdowns of his marriages, there was one woman who stood out in his heart. In today's video, we dive into Johnny Carson's deepest confession. Was she his only true love? So, stay tuned to find out the answer as we explore the life and love of the legendary Johnny Carson. The Confession That Shocked His Inner Circle Johnny Carson was notoriously private. While he made his audience feel like they were part of an intimate late-night conversation, few people ever got to know the real Johnny behind the scenes. He kept his personal life tightly guarded, rarely letting the public or even those closest to him into the depths of his emotions. But, in his later years, Johnny Carson made a startling confession to close friends. Despite being married multiple times, there was one single woman he never truly got over. She was the love he let slip away, the woman who had captured his soul and heart in a way no one else ever could. Carson's admission left his inner circle wondering, was she his only true love? And if so, why had their relationship fallen apart? To truly understand Johnny Carson's emotional journey, we must look at his relationships through the lens of a man constantly torn between public adoration and personal heartbreak. Jody Wolcott, the first love that faded away. Johnny Carson's first marriage was to Jody Wolcott, a woman he met in the late 1940s before fame and fortune found him. They married in 1949 when Johnny was still working as a radio announcer in Omaha, Nebraska. At that point, their life together was simple and filled with the optimism of a young couple starting out. For Johnny, Jody was his first love and their early years were marked by shared dreams and a quiet life far from Hollywood's spotlight. But as Johnny's ambitions grew, so did the distance between them. By the early 1950s, Johnny had moved to California to pursue his television career. Jody stayed behind with their three children, living a life that felt increasingly detached from Johnny's. As Johnny's star began to rise, the demands of show business began to take over his life, leaving little room for their marriage to grow. The long separations, the relentless pressure of Johnny's career, and the increasing emotional distance between them proved to be too much. In 1963, after 14 years of marriage, Johnny and Jody divorced. Jody had been Johnny's first love, the woman who supported him through the early struggles of his career, but as fame took hold, their relationship couldn't withstand the strain. While Johnny's marriage to Jody may have been his first attempt at love, it's clear that she wasn't the woman he would later confess as his only true love. Their separation, though significant, was not the one that left Johnny haunted. That chapter of his life was still to come. Joanne Copeland The Love That Stayed With Him Shortly after his divorce from Jody, Johnny Carson married Joanne Copeland, a former model and flight attendant. They married in 1963, just as Johnny was stepping into his role as host of The Tonight Show, the dream job that would change his life forever. At that time, Joanne was the glamorous, poised woman who seemed to perfectly complement Johnny's rising fame. Together they attended high-profile events, living a life filled with glitz and glamour. But, as was the case with many of Johnny's relationships, the marriage began to crack under the pressure of his career. Hosting a nightly television show meant long hours, frequent travel, and constant public scrutiny. While Johnny thrived in his professional life, his personal connection with Joanne began to suffer. Joanne, though supportive, struggled with the emotional distance that Johnny's career created. By 1972, after nine years of marriage, Johnny and Joanne divorced. Yet despite the end of their relationship, Joanne left an indelible mark on Johnny's heart. Years later, 
Johnny would privately admit to close friends that Joanne had been the love of his life. She was the woman who had captured his heart in a way no one else had, the one he never truly moved on from. Even as he went on to marry other women, the memory of Joanne lingered in his mind, a love lost but never forgotten. She was like a constant presence in his life, always there, even if only in his thoughts. However, despite Johnny's deep feelings for Joanne, their story was not the one that left him with the most regrets. That would come later with his third marriage. But why does Joanne stay in Johnny's heart? Well, for Johnny Carson, Joanne Copeland represented more than just another marriage. She entered his life at a time when he was transitioning from a relatively successful entertainer to a national icon. Their relationship coincided with Johnny's rise to fame, and perhaps that's why she held such a special place in his heart. Joanne brought a sense of sophistication and stability to Johnny's life, even as his world became more chaotic with the pressures of hosting The Tonight Show. Unlike his first marriage to Jody, which crumbled under the weight of Johnny's growing career, Joanne seemed to understand the demands of his profession. Yet even that wasn't enough to save their relationship. One of the reasons Joanne stayed with Johnny emotionally, even after their divorce, could be the timing of their union. Joanne was with Johnny during one of the most transformative periods of his life. As his fame skyrocketed, so did the intensity of his emotions. While his other marriages were clouded by the complications of celebrity, Joanne stood out as the woman who had been with Johnny during the pivotal moments of his career. But even though Johnny confessed that Joanne was his true love, their marriage wasn't destined to last. Despite the connection they shared, the demands of his career and his own emotional distance caused their love to slip away. However, Joanne's presence in his heart would remain long after the final curtain fell on their relationship. Joanna Holland, The Glamorous Yet Doomed Union After his divorce from Joanne Copeland, Johnny Carson once again found himself drawn into a new relationship. In 1972, just months after his second divorce, Johnny married Joanna Holland, a beautiful model and socialite. Their relationship was immediately thrust into the public eye, and for a while, it seemed as though Johnny had found someone who could keep up with the demands of his high-profile lifestyle. Joanna brought a sense of glamour and sophistication to Johnny's life, and for years, they were seen together at Hollywood events, smiling for the cameras. But as had happened in his previous marriages, the cracks in their relationship began to show behind the scenes. Johnny's long hours, the constant attention from the press, and his emotionally distant personality proved to be too much for Joanna. After more than a decade together, Johnny and Joanna divorced in 1983. The split was quiet and handled discreetly, just like Johnny himself. While their marriage had its moments, it was clear that Joanna didn't hold the emotional weight for Johnny that Joanne Copeland had. Despite their time together, Joanna wasn't the woman who stayed with Johnny in the same way Joanne had. Alexis Moss, The Final Chapter of Love In 1987, Johnny Carson married his fourth and final wife, Alexis Moss, a former stockbroker. This relationship was different from Johnny's previous marriages. Unlike his earlier unions, which were marked by public attention and glamour, Johnny's marriage to Alexis was far more private. Alexis brought a sense of calm and stability to Johnny's later years, and for nearly two decades, she was his constant companion. Their relationship was quieter, far removed from the chaos of Hollywood. Alexis was not interested in fame, and this allowed Johnny to step back from the public eye and enjoy a more peaceful life. Together, they shared a life of tranquility, and by all accounts, Johnny seemed to find a sense of contentment with Alexis. But even in this final chapter, there was still a lingering sense that Johnny's heart had been left behind with Joanne Copeland. Though Alexis gave Johnny the peace he needed, friends would later remark that Johnny's love for Joanne never fully faded. The memory of Joanne, the woman who had captured his heart all those years ago, remained with Johnny even as he built a new life with Alexis. 
Johnny's confession. Was she his only true love? So was Joanne Copeland Johnny Carson's only true love? Based on Johnny's own confession to friends, it seems likely. Even after his marriage to Joanna Holland and Alexis Moss, the memory of Joanne never left Johnny's mind. She was the woman he admitted had captured his heart in a way no one else had. And despite their divorce, Johnny carried that love with him for the rest of his life. In the end, Johnny Carson's confession reveals the complexity of love. Despite his fame, his success, and his multiple marriages, there was one woman who stood out in Johnny's heart. Joanne Copeland may have been the love Johnny let slip away, but she was also the one he never forgot. And perhaps that's why, even after his death, she remains a constant presence in the story of Johnny Carson's life. We really hope this video has given you a better understanding of Johnny Carson's personal life and the impact Joanne Copeland had on it. If you enjoy it, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks for watching. We will see you in our next video.